This is Karen. Hi, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of Sydney, Australia's capital of sun, surf, surf. and sights. And the vocabulary words are capital. Capital. Canberra is the capital of Australia. Charm. Charm. Diana was charmed by the hotel's beautiful design. Wow. Access. Access. Brett had no way of gaining access to the locked room. Performance. Performance. John is busy preparing for his performance tonight. Mm, daring. Daring. She was a daring writer who wasn't scared of taking chances. So we're talking about this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. <sighs> Called Sydney. Yes, I really want to go to Sydney. Me too. I've it, never been to Sydney. Oh, actually, I've never been to Australia before. Me neither. But if I go to Australia, probably the first place I will go is Sydney. And why is that? I think it's just because there's a lot of beautiful nature there, but the city is also very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, the Sydney. Opera House. I know it's so famous, and it looks like sails of a great ship. It's so beautiful,、mm. and I would just love to be able to go in there and watch the opera and see that from the inside. I would love to do that too. And、uh, also, there is the Sydney. What is the Sydney Sydney Harbour Bridge? That's right. Sydney Harbour Bridge is also a really popular tourist attraction. Yeah, you can take a tour, like walk across it. Yes. Or if you're really adventurous, you could actually climb up it.、Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound exciting? It does. But I remember that I've heard from friends you have to pay some money to do that. I don't know if it's really expensive. Yeah. Well, but I guess it's worth it, right? Since you're, you're already there. Yeah, you're visiting. You know, you you have to pay some money to do stuff. I guess so. Okay, let's talk more about Sydney. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy. Sydney, Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sights. Sydney is Australia's largest and most popular city. A busy harbour surrounded by jungle and beaches, Sydney charms visitors with its fun-loving spirit. In addition to providing convenient access to Australia's wild side. Today's lesson is called Sydney, Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sights. Part one. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Can I bet most of you out there, if you could name a city in Australia, Sydney would be that city. It's the biggest city,、mm -hmm. right? It's sort of the、uh, economic capital. It's the tourism capital. Although there are great parts of Australia outside of Sydney, and it's also home to some of the more well-known landmarks, including the Sydney Opera House. And the Sydney Harbour Bridge, both of which I believe we'll be discussing as we take a little tour of Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sights, Sydney. Now it says it's the capital, but, it, but it's not actually it's, the capital. It's, it's not actually、yeah. the seat for the government、mm. of Australia. Yeah, very often when we're talking about a capital, we're talking about where the government of some place is located. Okay, the capital of Australia, as far as sun, surf, and sights. Are concerned is Sydney. If you want to have the most fun in the sun while surfing and taking in the sights, go to Sydney. It's going to be the most important city in Australia as far as these things are concerned. But is it the actual capital of the country of Australia? No. For example, Canberra is the capital of Australia. So if you wanted to go take in, I don't know, a, a, a parliamentary debate or something like that in Australia. You're gonna have to go to Canberra because that's where the government of Australia is located, not in Sydney. Anyway,、yeah. Sydney is Australia's largest and most popular city,、mm. and in many ways, it is the capital of Australia, just not in terms of the government. Anyways, more on Sydney, a busy harbour surrounded by jungle and beaches. Sydney charms visitors with its fun-loving spirit. In addition to providing convenient access to Australia's wild side, there you go. It's been a very important place since the first Europeans came there. I think Captain Cook 
and the first British actually set foot in Sydney Harbour, and it's still a busy harbour, a place for boats to go and tie up safely, meaning it's a gateway into the country. It's surrounded by jungle and beaches, jungle in the land side, beaches on the coast side. Facing the ocean and Sydney charms visitors with its fun-loving spirit, in addition to providing convenient access to Australia's wild side. Yeah, charms visitors. Famous cities like Sydney or Hong Kong, New York, Paris, of course. A lot of it is about their charm, right? Your charm is how attractive and appealing you are, and if you use that personal attraction to attract people, you are. Charming those people, all right. So the host of a party would charm the guests by welcoming them, looking them in the eye, saying how wonderful it is to see you, remembering their name,、mm. giving them a drink. You know, basically making them feel welcome, making them feel like, wow, what a great place this is. It's beautiful. The people are lovely. I am being charmed. I am really attracted. To this place, for example, Diana was charmed by the hotel's beautiful design. Maybe it had like an old 1920s feeling about it. She found that very attractive. She was charmed by the look and the design of the hotel. It made her happy. It made yeah, her it happy. Made her happy. Very happy. Also, here we have the word access to talk about. It's being used as a noun. If you have access to something. You can go there. You have a way of getting there. You can also access things. That means they're available to you. You can use them, so on and so forth. For example, Brett had no way of gaining access to the locked room. He couldn't get in. He couldn't enter the room because he did not have access. But if he gets a key, he might just get access、right. or gain access to that room. All right, everyone. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课文要介绍旅游城市是雪梨 Sydney。好，课文标题说它是 Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sight， 澳洲的阳光、冲浪和名胜之都。那我们这边看到一个单词是 capital， capital， 它可以指首都。那它其实也可以用来指某种活动或是产业集中的重要都市，像我们要表达音乐之都啊、文化之都等等，你都可以用 capital 这个字来表示。那刚刚 Jeff 老师提到说，首都是政府国会的所在地，我们顺便学一下 parliament。parliament 表示国会、议会。它是拼作 P A R L I A M E N T。好，那个这个字在后面加上 A R Y 会变成形容词 parliamentary。parliamentary 就表示国会的、议会的。好，课文一开始说到呢，雪梨是澳洲最大、最受欢迎的城市，它是一个繁忙的海港，那被丛林和海滩围绕着。雪梨提供了方便的管道，让游客们可以接近澳洲自然野性的一面。除此之外，这个城市还有着爱玩乐的精神，深深吸引了各个游客。好，那文中用到复合形容词 fun loving， fun loving 就是形容爱玩乐的。还有单字 charm， charm 它是当动词，表示迷住或是吸引。Mike 老师在解释单字时用到 appealing。A P P E A L I N G, appealing 可以用来形容有吸引力的或是有趣的。下一个单词 access, access， 它在这边当名词表示接近的机会或者是进入，后面通常会接 to 再加名词。好，那再补充一下哦。老师又说到雪梨是澳洲的门户，这时候老师用到 gateway， G A T E W A Y， gateway 表示入口处或者是门户、通道。这个字也有途径的意思。接华课文中 ，Sydney, Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sights. For those wanting to see the city's big sights, Sydney makes things easy. The Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge are located right next to each other at the mouth of the harbour. Designed to look like the sails of a great ship, the Opera House is certainly a jaw-dropping piece of architecture. And though many are happy to admire it from the outside, the best way to experience the building is to attend one of the many opera or theatre performances held within. Sydney. Let's begin our tour. For those wanting to see the city's big sights, Sydney makes things 
easy. Now, first of all, we've got the Sydney Opera House and also the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Yeah, the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbor Bridge are located right next to each other at the mouth of the harbor. That's true, yeah. Almost any postcard you see of the Sydney Harbor, you'll see the Opera House and the bridge right there. And of course, they're both very unique and special looking. Now let's look at the Opera House first. It says, designed to look like the sails of a great ship, the Opera House is certainly a jaw-dropping piece of architecture. Mm. It absolutely is. It's got that very unique, looks kind of like a, a ship, or I've heard it uh, be described as seashells as oh, well, yeah. kind of seashells standing on edge and big and white, and it kind of sticks out on a little point. It's a great place to go to get views of the harbor and, of course, to see the building. And maybe, if you're lucky enough, you could go inside the building. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, and yes, Though many are happy to admire it from the outside, go inside. Yeah, admire it from the outside, but then enter. Because the best way to experience the building is to attend one of the many opera or theater performances held within. Mm. So do go inside. That's a good point. I've seen it from the outside in a million pictures, but... I don't know if I've ever actually seen a picture from inside the Opera it's House. Beautiful. But if you want to go inside, yeah, buy a ticket for a performance and you'll see the show and you can also see the inside of the building. Yes, a show is a performance. That's basically the same thing. This noun means some kind of show that's put on in public for your entertainment. It could be a magic performance, a person telling comedies, telling jokes, a, a rock show, a jazz concert, a play, a ballet, an opera, whatever. If there's performers and an audience and they're doing it for entertainment, it's a performance. For example, John is busy preparing for his performance tonight. He's singing uh, some Puccini oh. uh, at the Sydney Opera House. He's a performer noun who is going to perform verb, yeah. a performance noun. Yeah, pretty cool. He's an opera singer. There you go. Yeah. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be back after this. 说到雪梨，大家应该都会想到雪梨歌剧院，还有雪梨海港大桥吧？这两个景点都是在港口，彼此相邻。我记得每年在电视上看澳洲跨年烟火秀的转播时，都会看到这两个景点。那课文就提到说，歌剧院就像是一艘大船的帆，它是一座令人印象深刻的建筑作品。那这边用到补充单字 ，architecture。Architecture， 它就表示建筑样式、建筑风格，或者是可以指建筑学。那么文中用到 jaw dropping， jaw 是下巴， jaw dropping 字面上的意思是下巴掉下来的，它其实就是用这个意象来表达令人印象深刻的、令人震惊的。好，那虽然说雪梨歌剧院从外面看就很美了，可是要体验这座建筑的最佳方式，你当然还是要进去看表演喽。那么单词 performance performance 它表示表演、演出或是表现，它的动词是 perform perform 表示表演、演出。那如果在字尾加上 er， 就会变成 performer performer 是表演者。好 ，Mike 老师在解释单字时有提到 entertainment 这个字是拼作 e n t e r t a i n m e n t entertainment 它可以指娱乐或是娱乐节目、娱乐活动。解华课文中。Sydney, Australia's capital of sun, surf, and sights. Next to the Opera House is the Sydney Harbour Bridge, otherwise known as the Coat Hanger, which stretches across the harbour's waters. You could, of course, take in the structure by walking across it. However, the more daring can book a special climb up through the bridge's steel supports to its tallest point, 134 meters above the sea. Okay, before the break, we talked about the Sydney Opera House. Now, next to the Opera House is the Sydney Harbour Bridge, otherwise known as the Coat Hanger, which stretches across the harbour's water. Now, the harbour's waters, I should say. You could, of course, take in the structure by walking across it. You could do that. 
Mm-hmm. But but there but. are there are more interesting ways of taking in this amazing bridge. When we take something in, we see it, we witness it, we experience it. You could take it in by standing far away and just snapping a photo, or take it in by getting up close and seeing what it's like. But if you want to get up close and get up high, this is the best way to take in the Sydney Harbour Bridge. However. The more daring can book a special climb up through the bridge's steel supports to its tallest point, 134 meters above the sea. That's that's a big butt. You can you could walk across the bridge and familiarize yourself with it.、Mm-hmm. However, though, but there's a way that you can really. Really have a good time、mm-hmm. while experiencing everything this bridge has to offer. Yeah, you can climb up to the top of the bridge. Amazing! And yes, Mike, you're scared. I don't like heights like that. You don't like heights.、Uh, you're kind of scared by heights.、Uh, you're afraid of heights. Anything I have to clip onto so I don't fall off and die makes me a little nervous. Yeah, you don't sound like you're very daring、mm-hmm. there. Not、Mike. with heights.、Mm. Not with heights. Anyways, if you are daring. You are brave and you're courageous, but more specifically, if you are daring, you're willing to do risky or dangerous things. For example, she was a daring writer who wasn't scared of taking chances. Yeah, she wasn't scared of taking chances. She'd take chances. She was daring. She was willing to take risks or do dangerous stuff. All right, folks. With that, today's lesson is now complete. And it's time for you guys to say bye bye to us, and we'll say bye bye to you too. Take care. 好，下一站来到雪梨海港大桥，它又被称为 the coat hanger 衣架。好，那来到这里，你可以慢慢的走过这座桥来欣赏这个建筑物。如果你胆子比较大，可以特别去预约攀登这座桥的钢铁支柱，往上爬到最高点，海拔一百三十四公尺的地方。哇，听起来好可怕哦。那我们最后来看单字 daring。Daring 就可以用来形容大胆的或是勇于冒险的。那么文中用到 otherwise known as 这个用语呢，是表达又称作什么什么，就相当于 also known as。那这个用法通常就会接在某人或某事物后面，来说明它有另外一个广为人知的称呼。好，那至于文中还有用到片语 take in， take in 在课文里面是指参观或者是欣赏。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍文法重点有两个，第一个是 those 加上现在分词或过去分词的用法，第二个是地方副词的倒装句。好，我们先来学 those 加上现在分词或过去分词的用法。要了解这个用法，应该先从 those who 加动词开始。好 ，those who 加动词，其中的 those 指的是 those people 那些人。如果我们只说那些人，对方又不知道我们指的是哪些人，所以后面呢用 who 引导的关系子句来限定范围，说明是那些怎么样怎么样的人。所以 those who 加动词就表示凡是怎么样的人，那些怎么样的人。像 those who are very fit 表示那些非常健康的人。Those who don't eat meat, 那些不吃肉的人等等。好，接着呢，我们可以将 those who 加动词其中的关系代名词 who 省略，然后把后面的动词改成分词。动词是主动就改现在分词，被动就改过去分词。哎，这样子就会简化成分词片语 those 搭配现在分词或过去分词喽。好，那我们看个例句会更清楚哦。The website provides useful information for those who are thinking about studying abroad. 这个网站提供实用资讯给那些正在考虑出国念书的人。那我们看到句子里面 ，those who are thinking about studying abroad， 那些正在考虑出国的人，我们这边可以把关系代名词 who 省略。动词的部分 are thinking， 只要保留现在分词 thinking 就可以了，然后就会简化成 those。Thinking about studying abroad. 那我们来念完整的句子。The website provides useful information for those thinking about studying abroad. 好，最后来学地方副词的倒装句。
地方副词或是地方副词片语摆在句首的时候，它后面的主词和动词要倒装。我们直接来看句型比较清楚。原本直述句的句型是主词加动词加地方副词片语。地方副词片语我们一般都是摆在句尾啦。那如果要特别强调地点，我们就可以把地方副词片语移到句首，然后这时候句子要倒装，也就是你的动词要移到主词前面。这时候句型就变成地方副词片语加动词加主词，动词跑到主词前面喽。好，举例来说。A scary monster lived in the cave. 一只恐怖的怪物住在那个洞穴里面。好，在这个句子里面呢 ，a scary monster 是主词 ，lived 是动词 ，in the cave 是地方副词片语。我们这时候可以把 in the cave 移到句首，然后记得把动词移到主词前面，形成倒装句。In the cave lived a scary monster. 那个洞穴里面住着一只恐怖的怪物。好，另外提醒同学们，当你的主词是代名词的时候，不需要倒装哦。像我们说 ，Here comes the bus， 公车来了。如果你要把这个例句里面的 the bus 改成代名词 it， 那么句子是写作 Here it comes。有没有看到动词 comes， 它是维持在主词 it 的后方，没有倒装。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。Welcome to English in Action. I'm Hal. I, I, what's wrong with you? I'm Shane. What? You 干嘛凶巴巴的 ？Oh, come on. Who are you? Okay, 我们今天呢就要来介绍遇到这种情况，他。You didn't tell them who you are. Oh, I'm. This is Say. I'm Holly. Hey. Okay. Well, 凶巴巴怎么说？我们来看看吧。How do you like our new boss? I don't like him because he's so hard on me. <laughs> What did you do? So, <laughs> 刚刚呢，我们在对话里面有听到一句 ，He's hard on me. Okay, so hard 这个字原本是什么意思 ？Yeah, why is it hard? Okay, so. It's not soft, right? Yeah, soft is oh, very soft. 很软。Hard 其实就是很硬的意思，非常的坚硬，所以他态度非常的硬，就是不太好，对不对 ？Or you can say he's unkind to me. Oh, 他对我不好。Unkind 就是非常的不善良。对，可是这样没有 feel， 没有 feel。所以哪一种方法 ？Mean to me. He's hard on me. He's Unkind to me. <laughs> 就感觉就没那么。所以你刚提到的 he's mean to me 这个，我他对我很刻薄，比较有 feel， 是吗？对啊，就很凶，比较凶，是不是 ？Right? Okay. You're always you're always mean to me. You're always hard on me. Okay. 所以呢，就可以区别一下 ，unkind 是比较就是嗯还好的说法，其他两个就是嗯真的很凶巴巴。那我们再来复习一次哦。第一个 ，He's hard on me. He's hard on me. He's mean to me. He's mean to me. He's unkind to me. He's unkind to me. All right. 今天呢，我们就学到好多凶巴巴的例句，希望你以后在抱怨的时候就可以好好用这一些英文句了。Yeah. See you next time. Don't be hard on anybody, okay? Yeah. Bye bye.